All right, this is Keen here from Lots Entertainment, and this is the basics, basically of Sony Vegas for beginners and all kinds of awesome stuff. So this is assuming pretty much that you just installed it and you don't really know anything about it. So be prepared for a blast of information that you will most likely all need. So to start out, you're, it'll s probably somewhat look like this, except that some things will be different. But yeah, because I don't really exactly remember how it looked, but I tried to make it go back to somewhat normal. So first off, go to Options, Preferences, and this is just a personal choice. You may not prefer this, but right here, Display Timeline at the bottom of the main window. Uncheck that. Click Apply. OK. And what the heck was that all about? It didn't work. Apply. Okay, yeah. Then it'll go like that. And it seems to be a little bit easier for editing, I find. And also, this will make it a lot easier. Only if you're planning on making all of your videos um, HD, though. So go to Project Video Properties right here. Click that. And then Template. And it should be that right now. And scroll down to whatever you want. If you want 1080p, which I don't really recommend if you're just making videos because it takes a long time to render and it takes up a lot of space. So if you just want pretty good quality, choose one of these three here, the HDVs. I usually choose 30p. Apply. Okay. And now it'll look like this. And you don't really need this master volume dial here that much. So you can pretty much just bring that out there and then drag this out because it's better to have that bigger than that, so. And this piece here bigger too. So, that's how you do that part. Also up here, some of these three things here are um, not normally gonna be there, and I don't think that will either, but I'm not sure. So to put those up there, it's kind of good to have those there because you'll use them quite often. Go to options again, customize toolbar, and here, You'll scroll down and look for quantize to frames, new video track, audio track, and add those things onto it. And then do that. And then they'll pop up up here. And what those are is you click it and boom, you made a new audio track. And you click that and there's a new video track. And what quantize the frames is, as you can see, if you use the arrow keys to go left and right, you'll see, I'll zoom way in for you by scrolling with the mouse, you can zoom in. And you'll see that right now, it's not quantized to frames, so it just goes like that, which is bad for um, video ed editing. But for s audio editing, that's good, because you'll want to get the audio exactly, but when it's con quantized to frames, it goes to each exact frame, which is what you want. So you're going to check quantize the frames, and now you'll see that it jumps to the frames. Yeah. So there's something that you'll want. Also, um, okay, so say you also to delete track, you just right click and go delete track, right click, delete track. So if there's no tracks there, when you drag in your video clip, it'll just make its own tracks, even if you don't have any tracks there already. So I'll just use this video clip as an example. And so I want to know how to split stuff. So here, say what happens here. Play. Okay. It doesn't want to play. Oh, there. Okay, so say you want to. Just a sec, I need to turn on my speakers. Okay, say you want to split it somewhere. I'm sure there's another. Oh, yeah, you can click. I don't know how to split it any other way. But yeah, the shortcut is by pushing the S button. S, there it splits it. Now you don't want that clip anymore. You can just click delete and it's gone. So, and then if you make any mistakes up here also is undo and redo. So say I wanted to undo that, I was like, oh no, I need that. Then I undo it. So also, instead of it, you can also just 
go to the far edge and this little box shape thing should appear and then just drag it back where you want to stop at yeah and crossfade is another thing say you want to transition to a new scene it's just a simple transition nothing fancy rather than just having it jump like go from that jumping to that you can just drag the clip over and thus fade like and they cross so fancy like that so that's another thing of doing it also say you have a skateboarding clip or actually just pretty much any kind of clip that you want to be like slow motion this is without whoa sorry about that <laughs> without ramping which is a style of slow-mo that's really awesome I could do a tutorial on that if you like just message me and I'll probably do it for you so to short sh either make your clip slow motion or fast motion hold down control and then you'll see there'll be the box shape that would normally be there but there's also a squiggly line and you drag it out and it'll drag out your clip make it long or you can drag it back in and make it really fast like all crazy and yeah that's how you do it I could also do a thing on how to do time lapses if you want just message me like I said earlier and um, so this is something that you would like probably want to know too is when you do fast things like that or long things like that it'll be all like beep, 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 like really weird it won't be high pitched like it should be and for slow motion it'll be all weird and like echoey sounding and to fix that you right click on the audio track and go to properties and you go to lock to stretch the pitch change so then it locks to stretch no I'm busy I'm I'm recording a video sorry about that <laughs> okay yeah so locks to stretch and now it'll sound all hype and normal like that and oh, if you're going to make it longer it'll be better that way too so that's how to do slow motion stuff also if you are wanting to do text you go to media generators text and you just drag the text in to your audio track and then there it is and then you just type whatever you want I'll just type in uh, yeah like that. it's all weird looking so there's your text and you can change whatever font you want in there I'll put it on New Times Roman and then you can change the size to whatever you want and you also can move it around in placement here and in properties you can change the color of it however you would like and you can add drop shadow and stuff in effects and make it all sheared horizontally and cool you just play around with every wh however you want and also down here is keyframing right now say I want it to be like that in the beginning and I drag it to the end of the clip and then bring that all the way there so now it's keyframed so now it's animated and now it'll just by itself play through moving like that yeah so that's all the time I have for this part and I'll put a link up to the second part of the video